Hi, I'm Sister Miller with Singing Time Ideas that go along with the Come Follow Me lesson. And this week was amazing. I'm so excited to share with you. Since we are learning about the children of Israel after Joshua died and how they didn't have a leader, they started going through a cycle. So what I thought would be great is to have a office chair that would spin and it would show the cycle to, to the kids. So when I started off, I had a child just come sit in the seat and I told the kids, after Joshua died, the children of Israel started being evil. And I picked this up. They did evil. And then after they were evil, then I spin the chair again. They were sad. I, they had famines and they had to go to war and sometimes they were slaves. And then I spin the child again over here. So then what did they do? The children of Israel prayed. They cried to the Lord for help. And then what happened? Spin the child. They were delivered. The Lord sent, sent several people to help deliver them. And then when things were good, you know what they did? They did evil again. And then what? They were sad. And then what? They prayed. And then what? They were delivered. And then what? They just kept going through that cycle again and again and again. But you know what? Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we mess up. And then we're sad. And then we have to pray. And then the Lord sends deliverance through who? Jesus Christ. So this month, we are learning the song, I Will Be Valiant. You might have chosen a different song. That's totally fine. Um, but what I am doing to help teach this song this month, first of all, I have the flip chart, which has words and pictures to help remember them. But I'm going to have the kids mirror me in moving their hands where the notes go. So it gives me opportunity to review several things. So I say, we're going to start with this, for, this one. The Lord needs valiant servants. So I said, follow my hands. The Lord needs valiant servants. Oh, did you see how my hand, I was down, and I was in the middle, and then I was high, and I came back to that middle. You guys do that with me. And then they would sing it with me. The Lord needs valiant servants. I'm like, awesome. Okay, our next one. To do his work in the latter day. I'm like, that's kind of like stepping upstairs and then stepping downstairs. So step up the stairs with me to do his work in the latter days. And they're just following along with their hands, trying to follow when the notes are high and when they're low. So it helps them learn the melody, because they're kind of listening where the notes are. Also gives something for their hands to do, which is kind of fun, and gives you a lot of chance to review each section. So then we'd sing this whole page. Then I'd flip the page and we do this first part, who followed the teachings of Jesus, and we do it with the hands, the second part, then we do the whole page, you know, and then we do the next page. And I just like pointing out, oh, look, that jumped. Like, right here, serve his people in a loving way. It's like a jump. See, have you ever jumped upstairs like you skipped some stairs? That's like what this is doing, loving way. So anyway, you can have fun with that, teaching any song, just having the kids Try and follow you where your hand is up or down, if the notes are going up, if the notes are coming down. Now, when I call the child up to sit in the seat to be spun, I've played this game before where they come sit in the seat and we spin and wherever the chair stops, that's the song we're gonna sing. That's not what I did this time. This is another version. So I had a child sit in the seat, but they had to spin the whole time we sang the song that we're learning for the month, which is I Will Be Valiant. So I said, you guys, there's words here we gotta sing a little bit quickly, other they're well, otherwise they're gonna get really dizzy. So we sang this song in turbo mode. The Lord needs valiant servants to do his work in the latter days, who follow the teachings of Jesus and serve his people in a loving way. So I'm just spinning them the whole time we're singing this song. Then you can have them land like in a random spot, but I made sure they landed in the order I wanted them to land, starting with children of Israel did it did evil. Then I pick up the paper. Inside, I have written the song that we're going to do and the activity that we're going to do with it. So inside of the did evil, I have help me, dear father, because it. I love this song because it's about repentance. And there's not very many songs that are actually about repentance. 
So I said, oh, they did evil. And so let's sing a song about repentance. So we say, help me, dear father. Then I would have another child come sit in the seat. We would sing through our song that we're learning for the month rather quickly. The Lord needs valiant servants to do his work in the latter days. So I'm just spinning, 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 spinning. And when we get to the end of the song, I make sure they land where I want them to land. Children of Israel were sad. The song we sang for this one was Choose the Right Way. Because in this song, the chorus says, choose the right way and be happy. So I said, we're going to sing an opposite song. We're not going to sing a song about being sad. We're going to sing a song about if you choose the right, then you're happy. And for this song, our activity was every time you sing the word right, you're going to turn a quarter turn to the right. So it turns out that you're going to turn in one circle. Then again, have another child come up, we sing our song, and what I loved about this is it gave us a lot of chances to practice our new song for the month. Our next one was prayer, and for this we sang a child's prayer. I did not have time for this, but I had pictures for a child's prayer, and I was going to give a picture to each student and have them stand in a circle around this chair. And then I was going to have them hold their picture down, and when I touched their head, they would hold their picture up that goes to that part of the flip chart. We didn't have time for it, so I just did the flip chart and we sang it. Last of all, they were delivered, so we did He Sent His Son. Now, this song has a lot of words, and I feel like even though we have sung this song on and off for years, the kids still have a hard time remembering the words. So I played it on my iPhone so that they were hearing the words while they sang along because I thought they probably don't remember all the words. But the important thing I wanted to get across was that our Savior is our deliverer. So what I did is I just put it off this question mark and a picture of the Savior. And I said, anytime you hear a question, I want you to raise this hand. Anytime you hear that the Savior is the one that teaches or delivers, then we can hold up this one. And so of course the whole song is a question and the answer to every question is, Jesus. So they would just hold up their hand that matched the one I had in my hand, then hold up their hand that matched the one that was in my hand. I will put the links, if I can, to my flip charts down below. Also, a link to the printables if you want to use them. And I would love to hear from you if you have any ideas or suggestions or things you might have done with a spinny chair or with this lesson. Put some comments below. See you next week.